Google Keep is a fantastic tool for grabbing all those ideas, all those notes, all those thoughts in one centralized location. And especially if you are using Keep on your mobile device, you probably quickly add a number of notes in a single day. Well, if you're already a user of Google Keep, there's a pretty good chance that you also make use of Google Drive, and in particular in the Docs application for creating reports or writing articles, maybe you take meeting notes within Google Docs. Well, today I want to show you the relationship and how Google Docs and Google Keep integrate with one another, how you can actually access both from either application. So let's start, let's start by taking a look at Google Docs. Here I've started a new article, and let's say I've captured a number of ideas within my Keep account. Maybe I've got some images, I've got some notes, I've got the rough draft, the pieces, the puzzle pieces of a great article. And I want to access that information. In order to do so, all we need to do is select Tools, and about halfway down we have an option that says Keep notepad. So if we select that, what appears on the right hand side of the screen is a mini version of all of our Keep notes. And we can search the notes, we can add new notes, we can even edit these notes directly from this view. So now when I've got some text, let's say I've got the, the startings of an article or maybe just a few points, what I can do is I can select the three dots here and I can say add to document. And now my text is immediately here within my docs environment. Let's say I want this image and I want to bring it to, into the document. Now I just showed you how to do so by selecting the menu option here, right? By selecting the three dots here. Well, Keep actually makes it that much easier. I can just click and drag that image and now it's directly inside my document. So whether it's text, whether it's images, let me give you one other example. This one have, having, having to do with a checklist. What happens when you take a checklist into Docs? It will actually convert it into a bulleted list. And of course I can come in here and edit it any way that I like, but all that great information, all the bits and pieces of my report or an article or maybe notes that I've kept on a client, I can pull directly into my document here. But it gets even better because this relationship actually works both ways. Let's say that I've got some information here that I would like to bring in. I'm just going to delete a couple of these notes so we can get a better view here. Let's say I want to bring some of this information back into my Keep environment. Now you will notice when I drag things out of Keep, it doesn't remove it from my Keep notepad. It's going to keep it there. But let's say this first sentence, I would like to create a new note around it and it did not originate here. All I need to do is highlight that piece of text or it could be an image. I'm going to right click and I can say save to keep notepad. And now you can see it's created a brand new note that I now have accessible here within my Keep notepad. Now I'm going to switch back over to my Keep application or to the main Keep window here. So here you can see that piece of text that I've brought in. But there's another advantage to doing this. You will see down below that there is a Keep integration link. And what happens is that it keeps that link between this note and the actual Google Doc where it came from or where it was created from. So if I click on this link, it's going to bring me back right here to the original document. This is where that note originally came from. Now, another way of doing this is by taking a note within this Keep Viewer from within Docs. So let's say this is a new note, a new note from Google Docs. Now you will notice as I'm creating this note, it again adds this automated Keep integration link. And so it's going to keep that 
tie, it's going to keep that sync between this actual document and the note that I'm taking here. I'm going to select done. And now when I go back to my keep tab, there again, you see that same keep integration link that we have there. If I select it, it's going to bring me right back to this document. Now, you don't have to have all of your notes synced to the actual document where you kept it. Let's say I just want to add a new note and it's unrelated to this document. All I need to do is select X. I can remove that source. And now the note that I take here will not link. It will not be related to this area. But I know that there is a number of people who are starting to use their keep notes as another way of keeping track of comments within a particular document. Remember, you can highlight that area, you can bring it in here and make other revisions as well. So you can use labels, you know, you can search by labels if you like and see everything that is integrated or directly related to this document here. So just a couple of ways that we can uh, that we can do so. But let's go now back to our Keep account and see how we can create a new document uh, directly from our Keep environment. So let's say I've got the startings of an article here. I've got something titled New Blog Idea. And it's just a rough scratch. You know, I've been writing a few things. Or maybe I've grabbed a long piece of text somewhere from the internet, for example. Well, we can actually start a new Google document directly from this note. And here's how to do it. If we go to the More option down below, you will see at the very bottom, there's an option called copy to Google Docs. And what happens is when we select this option, it may take just a moment. You see down below, it says it has been copied to Google Docs. Let's open that document. All right, let's open up that document. And what has happened? Look at this. It's brought in all of that text. Everything that I got started in my Keep environment, it's now got me set up within a new document within Google Drive. It's brought over the title of that note and all of the information that was within that note. So, you know, maybe you're a writer or maybe you have a long piece of information, lots of text or lots of information in a note and you want to branch that out or you want to apply some rich text editing, you want to flesh it out into an article or report, you can do so by, let's go back to keep for a second, by selecting copy to Google Docs. So another way of bringing in information, this time from Keep, and bringing it directly into a brand new document within Google Docs. Now, there's one other example that I want to show you today in how Google Docs and Google Keep can integrate with one another. Another advantage of using both of these things together. And it has to do with the OCR technology that is built right in within the Keep environment. So let's go down to, um, let's actually start. We're going to start this one in Keep. And I've taken a screenshot of a poster here. Now, you may already be aware that when you are grabbing an image which has text on it, that Google Keep has the ability to grab and convert any text on that image into real text. So if you want to edit this text, let's say these bullet points that are listed here, you know, I'd like to include that in my Google document. All I need to do is come down to this menu again and above the copy to Google Docs option, we have grab image text. So I'm going to select it this time. And what has happened is you can see just down below, it has taken the text up above and it has put it into this note. Now I'm going to open it up so we can see it in a bit more in a bit more detail. Now it's not always perfect, as you can see. It's missing uh, a couple of letters here and a few things. It's, it's supposed to be at the beach, right? So I'm going to put in a capital B there, and this is supposed to have uh, yeah, it's supposed to have an L for long sleeved shirts and pants. But otherwise, it's done a pretty good job of grabbing the text that we see up above, and now it's here down below. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Google Drive. And if I go and find this note, here it is. Now I have the text within here, right? Now I have the text available to me. So if I'd want to bring that into my document, I can select it. I can grab it. I can bring it in here. Now it will bring in the entire note. So I've got the image up above. 
but now I've got all that great text as well. And that's really what I wanted. I can come up here, I can delete the image, but now I've got all that text that I wanted from that poster. It only took me a couple of seconds and now I can edit it, I can manipulate it here within Google Docs. So those are a number of different ways and how you can use information both in Google Docs and send it to Google Keep or vice versa. You can have the information that you've grabbed, you can just click and drag, add images, add text, even add bullet points and checklists directly to Google Documents. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I would love to hear from you. What is your favorite tip about the integration between Google Keep and Google Docs? Be sure to include it in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. I encourage you to give this video a like and please subscribe right here to the Simpletivity YouTube channel. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.